while the majority of what we provide is software oriented, we do have a percentage of our business which is hardware. Specifically, we've got these emulation systems that are called Palladium Z1 emulators, which are purpose-built supercomputers. I mean, this is optimized for the very task associated with taking the description of a design, the RTL, if you will, of the model, and running that in a way that is 10 times faster than is possible on even the best servers in the world. So the first opportunity for a customer that's trying to verify their chip and make sure that they move to the layout phase without it having errors and issues is to thoroughly simulate it. They do that as much as they can on standard compute, but ultimately a Palladium system can allow them to do that much, much faster and at a much larger scale. And it's even capable of modeling their entire design and letting the customer see how that design will interact with the outside world. Palladium is a very useful technology. The challenge can be that to purchase, install, and maintain a purpose-built computing system is a commitment that a customer needs to make. We have a very healthy number of customers who do that because they have designs that will constantly utilize this equipment and in fact is generally almost 100% utilized and they build it into their own data center plans. And so we sell a Palladium and then we have now made available a Palladium cloud, just like a model where a customer doesn't own the server infrastructure. In this model, the customer doesn't own the emulator. Cadence has put these emulator systems into a professionally managed data center that has all of the security and power redundancy and operational consistency that you would want. But we've done it in a way that the customer doesn't just have to buy a system. They can buy capacity. Design capacity in this context is generally thought of as how many millions or billions of gates is it that you want to emulate. So we've changed the thing that the customer purchases from buying a system to buying capacity and letting that capacity be utilized when it's actually needed.